Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create charts of different types. The first type of chart I'm going to show you how to create is from contiguous data. That basically means data in columns that is next to each other. So we've got column A here and column B. The columns are together, so that's a contiguous data. So all I need to do to create a chart from this is highlight my data and then go to insert. And now I need to think about the kind of chart that I need um, to use. In the exam, you're not always going to be told the type of chart. You have to come up with the most appropriate one and you'll be given marks for using the most suitable chart. So if you look at the data, it's basically um, some categories that are plotted um, along value, so along a scale. So the most appropriate chart to use here would be to show to show the actual differing values for each category would be a column chart. Um, it's a vertical bar chart. So in your exam, you're looking out for the wording vertical bar chart it actually is for the column chart. Do not get misled because a bar chart is actually horizontal bars. So we're looking for vertical bar charts. So I'm just going to select the most basic one. Um, and here is my chart. And then we can format this in various ways, um, which I'll go through in a minute. The next kind of chart that you're going to create is of non-contiguous data. That is data that is not next to each other. So in this example, we've got the categories of job title again and the percentages. So I've highlighted the categories just like that. And then I'm going to hold down the control button and highlight my percentages. Now, obviously, percentages are part of a whole. So whenever you're trying to um, sh show data graphically that's part of a whole, a pie chart is the best option for that. So I'm just going to go to Insert, Pie. And again, I'm going to choose the most basic type of chart. I'm not going to bother with a 3D one because the examiner won't be able to see the data as clearly. So I'm just going to choose a basic one and then select that and there is my pie chart okay so i'm just going to go ahead in the next video and show you how to format both these charts